Major sports news from across the pond as Wimbledon is over and we oh. have a new champion. That story kicks off today's trending stories. Here are our Hot Topics brought to you by Walton Art Center. Well, it was Carlos Alcaraz who managed to shake off a poor start and beat Novak Djokovic in the Wimbledon men's finals. That gave Alcaraz his first trophy at the All England Club and prevented Djokovic from winning his fifth in a row and eighth overall. So Alcaraz, very young, a 20-year-old from Spain who is the third youngest men's champion at Wimbledon. Now, on the, on the women's side, uh, Von Rosa beat favorite Yaber to become the first unseeded woman to win the famous tournament. The last unseeded woman to reach the Wimbledon final was Billie Jean King way back in 1963. So a lot of young people taking the crown there at uh, Wimbledon this year. Nice. Yeah. Exciting. I saw a lot of celebrities there, of course. Yes. Ariana Grande, Andrew Garfield, of Brad course, Pitt, the Royals. So lots of celebrities out there supporting Wimbledon. Absolutely. As well. Yeah. Love it. Well, London born actor, singer, and style icon Jane Birkin has died in France. Birkin had suffered from health issues in recent years that kept her from performing. French President Emmanuel Macron hailed Birkin as a, quote, complete artist. She was 76 years old. And I also read she was the inspiration behind the Hermes bag, the Birkin bags that everybody oh, loves. Really? Yep, I did read that. Style icon, it seems fitting then. Absolutely. Always sad to lose a great icon and legend like that. Well, let's switch over to some box office news. Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1 launched dun, dun, with a, dun, dun, Yes, dun, please. Dun, let's go. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Franchise best, it was, uh, they scored 80 million over five days. Dead Reckoning was hailed as a high point in the 27 year old franchise, which I can't believe it's that. Oh, I remember seeing the first one in <laughs> theaters, maybe when I was in high school. Jason, don't age yourself. You mean you only saw it a few years ago because yeah, that's right. you're not even 30 yet. That's right, yeah, not even 30. Can't even believe <laughs> it's a 27 year franchise. <laughs> Critics and fans loved it. They came away impressed by the stunts and the chases of the latest Mission Impossible film. Uh, and, you know, Tom Cruise is always doing these crazy stunts, and right. people are always impressed by that. So uh, I'm excited to see this one. I feel like our family is suffering a little bit of box office fatigue. We've, we have been to you the have. cinema so much this <laughs> summer. Um, Jill suggested we start off by recapping with maybe a few of the most recent Mission Impossible films to remind ourselves where yep. we are even in the Absolutely. plot of this one. That's a good idea. To round out the top five, we had second place went to Sound of Freedom, which we did interview uh, Jim Caviezel on the show about that movie. Then Insidious, The Red Door takes third, Indiana Jones in fourth, and then Disney Pixar's Elemental came in number five. Also had the chance to interview that cast. We so, did. Good, good representation. I've only seen one summer blockbuster, and that was the Transformers movie. So oh, yeah. while you are like, oh my gosh, I'm so exhausted. <laughs> I have to like catch up, so we'll see. Um, if you remember on Friday, we uh, talked to our um, sister station in Chicago, Dean yeah. uh, Richards. He said he gave Mission Impossible a Dean's List A, but buckle up, because it is a long one, right. 245 on top of you know whatever previous, but a lot of people loving it. <sighs> Tom Cruise is insane. Yes, I know. It's crazy <laughs> what he does about that stuff.